Hey guys, what's up? Um, my name is Sean Rusal and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video we're going to be learning how to use the on resize event. In the previous two videos we learned how to use um, constraints and margins, line and what else did we learn? It was anchors also um, to basically resize the components and make it scale to the, the form. Um, so in this video we're going to learn about on resize and this event is used when all the when, when all of the other stuff doesn't work. Um, but before we start, um, I increased the font size of my code. I hope this works better um, on YouTube. So let me know down 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 in the comments if this works. Anyway, so in this video, in this video I've created the GUI uh, with a panel aligned to top, a panel aligned to bottom and one member aligned to client and one to right. So basically we want these two members to be the to be the same size, the same width. Let's compile and right now um, it, that, it, it, isn't, it isn't the same width so we can't make it the same width with constraints or anchors or anything else so we're gonna have to use on resize event. So click on the form, go to events and choose the on resize event. You can give it your own name, um, or you can just double click on it and it will automatically create an event, a method for you with this name. Let's start coding. So we'll actually have to write some code to do this. So let's say member one dot width is equals to the uh, client. Okay, form one dot Client width. So the client width, basically the, the, the normal width is everything you see right now, including the borders and the title here. But the client width is is is, is just the insides, um, excluding the borders. So client width divided by def by two. So this will then split it in half, and then we just say. To do the same with number two from one dot client width divided by two, and now it's the same size as you can see, and it stays the same size no matter how you make it. So, let's say for instance, we add a panel, um, we add a panel in between the two members, then of course. This won't work anymore, as you can see. So now we'll, we'll need to include the panel freeze width. So put this in brackets, and we'll say minus panel free dot width. Also, you can just actually remove the form one dot client width. Then actually have to have form one dot client width. It's just I just added it to tell it to basically show you guys that we're using the form once um, client width property here. So client width minus panel three dot width, and we'll need to do the same for this one. The so client width minus panel three dot width. So this will then take the client width, take this whole um, client width, everything here. And then just minus the panel freeze width and then divide it by 2 to get the width for the memos. So let's compile. And also now it's the same size again, the two memos. And let's say we want to make uh, this panel in the bottom, which is actually panel 2. Let's say we want to make this panel and a third of the whole form. That would be panel 3 dot height colon equals we'll say client height divided by 3 so this will then make it a third of the full form uh, there should be panel 2 okay so we want to change panel 2's height as you can see now panel 2 is a third of the screen of the form so yes 
that's basically what the ordinary size event is used for it's basically resize the components and form in ways the other stuff can't so yes guys um thanks for watching please make sure to like this video if it helped you in any way and make sure to subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video bye